dogs do these uh, very uh, soft-spoken kind of characters. I feel like uh, this almost could be like a sequel to Lonesome Jim a little bit. Um, just wondering about that and just, you know, what were the convincing factors of the script and the story because there doesn't seem so much, much dialogue in it. Um, that's usually frightening for actors, isn't it? That's a question for Casey. What draws him to these kind of quiet characters like Lonesome Jim? You know, I just, uh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> uh, it's a comedy you can, I, uh, thank you for seeing Lonesome Jim, first of all, because um, uh, I don't think that I am particularly drawn to that, to, to quiet characters. Um, I didn't know, I didn't even consider them, either one of them to be quiet. He seemed, this character to me seemed to, I don't, I, I've been asked this before, and I'm going to go back to the script now and check, because when I read it the first time, I thought, boy, that's a lot of dialogue in there. Um, and the fact that people have said, oh, geez, he doesn't talk that much, means that something else was going on, I guess, within, like, with his personality and his, the way that he talked to people and how he phrased certain things. He's very terse, you know, and um, so maybe it comes off as being someone who doesn't say much, but he doesn't. It's not like idle chit chat. There's not a lot of that, and he doesn't really talk too much. He never explains his feelings too much or talk about the the tragedy in his life, except in the when he tells what happened to the when he tells the police what happened. So I really didn't think of him as being that way. Um, Lonesome Jim was just just a you know I don't know. I can't remember. I think that was uh, just the. You see, I can't. I can't. I don't remember anything <laughs> about it. I can't talk about it. Um, but this this guy here was pretty uh, forceful when he did speak. He spoke to people. Maybe that's just what I brought. Were you intending such power with the when, <laughs> when someone when you were There's no way. It? There's no way to write. That yeah, kind of that's power. just something. That's, that's, that's something, just something that a person brings to it, or they don't. You probably thought, how can I get someone to bring this power to this thing so it doesn't just lay there? <laughs> on so the weird, because that's exactly what I was worried about <laughs> while I was writing this, the script, and, and the here we are. The power that I brought. The question was, how do you bring so much power to the dialogue? <laughs> and I don't know how I do it. It's, um, but I'm not. I'm. I guess I'm only just not to be a jerk. So I'll try and answer your question. Really, I just am. Dr I guess I'm drawn to good writing and like. That's the thing that gets really exciting is that I feel like there's characters that are complicated and there's an opportunity to do something other than what is written there. And in this, there was, there was a lot of different...